What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World. Today, we're gonna be talking about the AKA Instant 87, AKA overall glitch, bro. There's a lot really happening within the game. I know many of you guys still have not received your XP boost. You guys have not received your rookie premieres. That glitch is still going on, the Ultimate Alumni, but I did get some updated information, so I'm gonna pass, pass it along to you guys right now. For those of you guys that are having difficulty uh, with locating where the actual XP boost is, it's kind of like weird the way they did it, but when you go to it, this is what the problem was. And like I said, I don't know if this is like a glitch or what it is, but when you click it and you go to the set, it actually brings you to the one that was already redeemed, but that's not the one that it's supposed to go to. So if you were lucky enough to be able to get it and um, you know ultimately get the new tip, I'm gonna show you where to find it. When you go into the sets, right, it's all the way towards the bottom. Now sometimes it like you know takes a little bit, you know a little bit to load, but you'll find it. This is it right here okay so some of you guys were able to get this and you know figure it out yourselves i just want you guys to know that although it takes you to the wrong one you can actually put the collectible in that they send but it's in a different part so i don't know if you know ea is going to update it i doubt it where they'll make you go to the right set but it is there so when you get that new one that's the new version of it because they redid it and then sent it out to people and then I got the information through a couple people that that's what they got and they told me where to find it. So whether or not, you know, you guys have it or not, you guys can still use it. Now the reason that they did that is because they actually gave some people like myself, two of them. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When you go over to my uh, Ultimate Alumni crossover, you're gonna see that I still have another collectible. So they didn't want me to use this twice, so they changed the color. You see what I'm saying? It's still the same thing. You're gonna get all those XP boosts, but it's just a different color now for the people that weren't able to get it first, okay? So that's the actual XP boost glitch. Now, as far as the Ultimate Alumni and the Rookie Premiere, I would say at least uh, 30% of the people that watched my video said that they received a pack where they got the upgraded 87s of the Jaden Daniels and all the other stuff. If you have still not received it, Keep messaging EA Sports at Madden NFL Direct because this rollout is so slow, dude. And most of us will never get the card or we'll probably get it by Christmas where it's useless. So I don't know exactly what they're doing, but the Ultimate Alumni and the Rookie Premiere, we're probably gonna have to wait that out because again, a lot of us got it and some of us did not, okay? Now, jumping back into the AKA, the challenges. Many of you guys were telling me that you didn't have enough tokens. Well, you should. You should have enough to get a free Tyreek Hill or a night train lane. I'm gonna tell you how to get glitchy though. After you do all of these and you get all your tokens and all that stuff and you do the AKA field pass and you get those tokens, I'm gonna explain to you guys something else that you can do to get real glitchy with the game. Now, some of you guys may or may not have known this, but inside of the AKA vintage, like those, those sets, right? Like this Tyreek Hill set, if you read it, it tells you you have a chance of getting the vintage version. Okay, now the vintage version, I actually pulled it earlier today. I can actually show you in case you guys don't believe me. So this is my clip. I didn't even post it yet uh, to um, to X, but if you guys wanna follow me on G Miles World on TikTok, you know, G Miles World, you know, everywhere, like TikTok, Facebook, um, Instagram, all that stuff, uh, Twitter, X, you'll see it. So I pulled it earlier and that was out of the 2700 point pack, but you can also pull him if you take a chance with this. Now, I don't wanna tell you guys to get glitchy if your pack luck is trash. My pack luck is usually really bad. I got extremely lucky. I don't wanna bother EA anymore and try to do this and then see what happens because I know you guys probably want me to do it because you want me to lose my coins, but I'm more than likely gonna end up you know, getting the basic Tyreek Hill. But depending on how I feel by the time the video is over, we'll go over that. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to actually see. You know what we'll do? Let's add all of these to the set. How much is the 84 going for? Because I think his card is selling for like 400K. So if I spent 200, right? I could probably I could probably snipe those. I can show you how to get glitchy with it. You go to the auction house and just search for the 84s. I could probably snipe those for 100K each. If Tyreek Hill is going for at least 400K, it may make some sense for us to try it. Cause I know you guys be like, yo G, let's see if you get lucky again. So this is the one that I got and I sold them for 2.1. I just showed you the video, right? We're gonna go to the program, okay? And right here, we're gonna take a look at um, this right here. So he's down to 373. So theoretically, right? We could do this and if we, if, you know, we spent 200, make 300, like, is it really worth it? Like, I don't know if that's something that you guys wanna do. I would probably say we should hold off because we're gonna net we're gonna net probably 166. EA is gonna take the attacks off of the whole thing. 
um, is it really worth it? You know what I'm saying? Because we could just sell them individually, right? And just make 300K and be done with it. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sell them individually. Because, you know, as far as this goes with the risk, I don't think that it's worth it. So instead of me trying to be glitchy when I got lucky once, I'm not going to try to get lucky again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my cards out of this. And this is something that I want you guys to understand. I want you guys to do what's best for you. If you're gambling because your coin stack is low, that's one thing. EA blessed me earlier. I got a limited. I'm not playing with EA Sports like that, bro. Like, I'm just not going to do it. So this is what I would suggest, right? Inside of your items, if you have cards or you're building them inside of the set, um, I would suggest that you go ahead and you check the prices and you sell them like that. Now, as far as the set goes with the tokens, because I know a lot of you guys, before we get to that and I sell that, I'm going to show you guys the, um, the actual set. So you should have enough to get this done. Now, I know you're probably like, yo, G, you got 27 there. You don't, you don't even have 30, right? That's what you guys are probably gonna say. Yo, G, what's going on? So let me show you something, right? What I usually do is I hold the packs with the AKA tokens in them and I keep it in my unopened packs because I don't wanna put everything because I might accidentally complete the set, so I don't do it. So you can see right here, I have eight right there. I got four of those, so four times two is eight. I got two times three, that's six, right? So eight and six is 14. So I have you know more than the three that are needed. But I don't want Night Train Lane or Tyreek Hill. And I know many of you guys are in that situation where it's like, do I want either of these bums? Now, let me just show you something really quickly about Night Train, right? Night Train Lane, his Excel is low, but he's 88 speed. So it depends on what you're looking for. Because he actually could be a player that is decent. Now look, with his card, right? He's going for more than Tyreek Hill at 445, but... I don't know. Do I do I want to complete that? I can make 245 of that. This might make a little bit more sense, actually. Or when I sell it, if I spend two and I make the one, I'm gonna be doing the same thing anyway. Like regardless of how we do it, I'm still gonna be making like you know 100 and something after I spend the 200. So it makes sense to just sell them. But anyway, let's take a look at what's going on, right? We're gonna look at his card and see exactly what the problem is. So you guys get like the nitty gritty about what's happening. This guy, his Excel is low. All right. And what that means is, although he's 88 speed, he's gonna still get burnt by Tyreek, you know, Xavier Worthy, whatever. If you put him in zone, he probably won't get burnt, but I don't know if you wanna actually pay, or you don't know, get this guy for free right now, when the AKAs just seem to be getting better. You know what I'm saying? Like, they gave Tyreek Hill a two plus speed point advantage with this current limited vintage versus his base card. That's kinda crazy. So if they continue to do that, you might wanna save it, if you don't need this for your team right now, all right? If you do need a corner and you're no money spent and you did all the challenges and you have all those tokens, you might wanna take a chance on him now because he's gonna help you at least to the point where dudes won't just come out and just throw the ball right at you down the field. He'll be able to keep up a little bit better, in my opinion, all right? I just don't feel the need to get him because he's only played for three teams and none of those teams apply to my, you know, any, I don't want to build a theme team for any of those three. Now, depending on what Calvin Johnson's speed is, we may go Lions theme team. All right, we may do that. Barry Sanders is out. He's cut all ties with EA Sports. So that's probably not going to happen. But with this, I would probably say, let's do it. If they drop Calvin soon, okay, it would make sense. You know what I'm saying? But those are the reasons why I don't like it. Now, some of you guys are gonna probably be asking about the game time players and Caleb and stuff like that. I didn't really like any of the cards that came out uh, today with game time, so I'm not really interested in it. Um, if you wanted to dabble you know, with it, that's on you. However, you got, like I said, I don't really feel that, especially with the rookie premiere glitch, once they give us all of our cards, we're gonna be able to upgrade our Jane and Daniels to probably like 88 speed or something weird like that. So I don't feel you should spend 1 million coins on this guy. And also he shouldn't have closer because he played horribly down the stretch last night. But that's not what this is about, guys. That is not what it's about, all right? We're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna just leave it the way that it is. And that's ultimately what it is. But CJ Stroud outplayed him, obviously. CJ, you know, CJ Stroud is a beast, but that's neither here nor there. I don't care for this card. I wouldn't pay for it. I don't, like, I, I'm not concerned. now. When you think about the other card, there's one other card that was supposed to be halfway decent, the Dre Greenlaw. He's six foot and 86 speed. He's gonna get dotted with a high point, okay? Um, if you want to get dotted by a high point, you would get this guy and user him. If you do not want to get dotted, you could get him, but you can't use him as a pass rusher because you see his numbers. 
uh, with the power move and the finesse move. But he has decent zone coverage, um, I believe, right? It's, it's decent for a linebacker, yeah, 85. So you can put him out there. I just wouldn't recommend rushing him. He would just be a coverage linebacker. And those are two of the best cards that I've seen uh, as far as the game time goes. So you can figure out which way you want to go. But once they fix the glitches with the, um, the rookie premieres, I think that it wouldn't make any sense to go for Caleb. And also, if you don't want Tyreek Hill or Night Train Lane for this week, you could just sell him. You know what I'm saying? Well, not just sell them. Uh, if you have any of the cards or whatever, um, that you know, the 84s or whatever, you put together any of the sets for the 84 um, with the AKA, I would just sell the cards the way I'm going to do it now. Um, if you guys are like experimenting, trying to make coins, whatever, if you completed any of these sets right here, you know what I'm saying? And you, and you got the 84s, right now they're hot over 100K, I would just sell them. But this is for like my no money spent dudes that you know, they're grinding, they're making it from the base like I do right here. I go from like the 79, 78, stuff like that, and I build it up and keep making them. That's just something that you do if you, you know, you're looking to make some coins. But I would just sell the 84s individually. If you don't like the Tyreek Hill or the Night Train Lane, I would save the tokens until next week and just keep it rolling over. As long as you don't use it, it doesn't matter. Once they drop something that you really like, go for it. And that's it. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Let me check out what his price is right now. The 84s, because he's going for more than Tyreek Hill. So he's going for one-on-one. -on -one. So we could theoretically make, we could just put it, you know what? This is what I'll do, right? I don't want to like nickel and dime it. So what I'm going to do is this, right? I'm just going to put him up for 99. Just, just, bro, just, bro, 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 jabroni. Like, bro, 99. Like, that's it. 99, and that's it, dudes. Shout out to The Rock. If you guys remember The Rock when he was back in the day as a wrestler, you know what I'm talking about, bro. That was like the number one saying back then. But we're just going to put these up for 99 and just make 300K. And then that's it. And then we're just done. That's all we're going to do. Um, and then we know that we get it that way. And we net more this way than doing it any other way. Instead of like trying to wait, 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 whatever. All of them will sell. And then we know we'll be good. And it'll probably be one of you guys that are looking to snipe that it'll help out. So other than that, I think that that's where we are for today. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to ask them. And uh, that's ultimately where we are with it, boys. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. Stay well, stay blessed. Until next time, one love, y'all.